so if it was it, so it seemed there was a specific proprietary accounting system and somebody engaged a sadistic process where they brought a whole bunch of people into a specific proprietary accounting system without explaining it to them and then played some game to chastise them because the metrics have certain meanings. And what I think happened is somebody sat on it for a period of time until they could contrive again to demonstrate somebody else had exhibited numerical anti-Semitism. And because they were able to claim that they fit the Jewish demographic, somehow it was anti-Semitism against them. But in the intervening time, we have had a specific kind of recalibration where the way this works is specific people play the part of the Jew until they agree to convert. And the conversion involves them finding a way to offset the loss of being the Jew onto somebody else that gets to be the Jew. And every once in a while, because of the way that particular kind of scheme works, what ends up happening is that you need actual Jewish pedigree, just like the way that the metrics also can involve other kinds of racist stereotypes, like the Irish, right? And so at certain times, you need a particular kind of Irish investment or liquidity. And the thing is, it's not as elegaic or public when you engage in those kinds of anti-Irish hate crimes, right? So when you swapped me out to be the Irish swapped out with the Jew, and she knew or he knew what the system was and refused to tell me but kept chastising me, which is part of the role, right? I'm the good little Catholic girl, but every single time I think about or do anything that's remotely sexual, it brings up all of the repressed Catholic guilt. And if you actually have a faith tradition that believes that sex out of wedlock is a sin, or even that self-pleasure or masturbation is a sin, and yet you're constantly being performed to, com to, to, to perf you're compelled to perform, then what they try to do is they try to do you as the fallen Catholic, right? And then when you're the fallen Catholic, you're the bad girl. And you can even become the queen of the underworld. You play into all of those racist stereotypes, including getting to be what? The pussy thrown at the devil as he crosses the fucking bridge. And then what? You guys organize some sort of bridge workers union? I'm absolutely serious. That's what you've done to me for the last 10 years. I'm sorry, for the last 15 years. And the problem is, is that every once in a while in your cycle, I gotta be the Jew. And because I have been characterized the way I have, and because you took all of the Irish stereotypes and played them up to the hill, baby, including the hag, including the leprechaun, including the cobbler, including the fairy, right? You took all of those myths, including the goddesses. You took all of that, and that's yours now. But because you operate in the world with an understanding that anti-Semitism is real and it's fatal and it's horrendous, whenever the time comes up, for there to actually have been an honest, authentic discourse about what is the root of this anti-Semitism and how it's absolutely, it's also completely unnecessary. Is that the case? Did you try some case? Again, again, did you put some secret case on me where now, because I didn't repudiate the only thing you left me with, which was being white, including being white, and accepting I'm a citizen of the United States and I have a right to engage in my constitutional rights up to and including when I understand that the government of the United States is in the process of approving and codifying a procedure by which it can violate our 13th Amendment rights, right? I should have repudiated them like the rest of you did. And I say you because everybody that completely mischaracterized and slandered and lied and covered up for the horrendous crimes that were actually occurring on January 6th of 2021 and all of the crimes that went into what happened on January 5th of 2021 and all of the crimes 
that have been happening for the last 15 years, for the last 25 years, right? All of you are you, regardless of what your demographics are. And because I didn't repudiate it and join you in a ritual of shaming the sluts, or rather, what, what are they? The terrorists. Then I'm left as one of them. And so you're able to take all the stuff you've done to me in the last five years. And you're able to say that it fits other demographics because I've proven through your system that you were oppressed, even though you swapped your identity out with mine every time you wanted to play slutty Irish girl and get paid for it. And because it's okay to be a slutty Irish girl. And actually, there's something very specific and unique. It's almost like it's a right to be a slutty Irish girl. And you can be a slutty Irish girl and be any ethnicity and be any race, especially if you got your slutty Irish girl credit from somebody that was actually committed to racial justice. And not only was committed to racial justice, but has a whole back catalog in her name that demonstrates she was committed to racial justice. And even has a past history of having been involved in movements for sexual liberation, including ones that did not conform with heteronormativity, and including ones that were expressly against using the marriage contract as a primary basis for considerations of intimacy. See, that was my credit. But you guys are judged at some point in time. I was supposed to swap out with the Jew. And then you were going to chastise me and repudiate me because I wasn't actually Jewish. And so every time you subjected me to an act of anti-Semitism in order to try to compel me to cooperate, you tried to use it as evidence that me saying I was Jewish before was evidence of anti-Semitism. That's not what it was. It's evidence of money laundering. Lots of money laundering, even by this accounting system. Because you did not identify your role or position at the time you were in. I'll give you an example. If I take what I did last year, up until this time, and I compare it with that NITVA bond issue from 2018 that I reported, including to the appropriate federal authorities, but after I reported it as part of an ongoing investigation into pension fraud involving first the Houston Police Department. You know what I see? If I had a responsibility for meeting 10% of that pension obligation, I would have met it. And not only would I have met it, I would have been on course to completely meeting it, how long would it take me to completely meet that? I'd be able to do it in three weeks. I would have been able to meet that in three weeks. And not only would I have been able to meet that, I would have also been able to pay appropriate fees, and I would have also been able to account for the tax difference. And if I look at what the metrics prove about representation, I got a problem on day two. But the thing is, is the way your pattern works when it comes to opening up liquidity, I completely made the benchmark. The question is, who gets to be the Jew that day, right? And then we go on, and if we look at another day and what I did, the day that I was actually my pipe inspector, right? What happens that day? I meet all of the benchmarks, and I also set up a benchmark to meet on my birthday. Did I meet it? I would have met it if I had agreed to convert the Jew, but I didn't. So what ends up happening this year at the same time? Twelve. 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 I hit a twelve every day. At least one. At least every day I hit a twelve. You know what that means? Every day I'm being used to launder taxes for somebody else. Except I don't convey. And that's why you're pissed. Because you don't get credit as an investment unless I agree to convey it. Which means not only am I supposed to be the Jew that gets murdered every day, which means I don't get anything for myself, but I just got to be a good girl and prostitute myself so somebody else can get to claim it and deposit it as their investment. But I don't convey. 
And not only do I not convey, you guys also not only pegged me to be the Jew for the police, but you also met your benchmark in making sure you get what you need for the fire department, don't you? Six. Oops. Six. 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 Perfect. Wow. See, the problem is, I am still the Jew, and I still supported what happened on January 6th of 2021 right? Now I've already paid that $12. And not only had I already paid that $12, but before I paid that $12, I was due $1,200. And I would have put that in a U.S. savings bond. And I would have used that in accordance with an appropriate accounting. That bond would have been provided to the appropriate people, separate and apart from all of this other co-mingling of assets because you have no entitlement to work out your kill the Jew convert to a slutty Catholic girl from Ireland scam while you're trying to provide for public education or anything having to do with children. Why do you insist when the logic is this pure and simple? Why do you insist on trying to rape the slutty Irish girl in front of children. That's why I'm not allowed to be Irish anymore. Right? And I'm not giving you credit for torturing me for 15 years because you wanted to keep playing the scam, but you didn't want to have to be the one to deal with the karmic and emotional burden that comes with over and over and over again having to either kill the Jew and make some justification, or being the Jew that every fucking day gets killed. Right? And so the truth of the matter is, is you've got this information, you've got these representations, and you've got this completely racist typecasting. And you don't want to expose the whole scam. Who copyrighted this scheme? Is it Ramirez? Is it Ramirez and Son? Is this your plan for Puerto Rico? Is this why you get all the stuff I did last year and this year you get what? Insurance? By proving I'm what? The villain? Which is exactly what the accusations were in 2017. Except I'm not the villain. And you sat on this long enough to try to falsely frame somebody else. And the problem is, you know, we have a situation right now where there are people world leaders even, or people that could have been world leaders that have been subjected to this completely racist scheme. And the people who are the primary beneficiaries want to claim for some reason they're entitled to confidentiality. And part of what I understand makes them think they're entitled to confidentiality is because they're dealing with private patient information, except they're not dealing with private patient information because I was never your patient. I was the co-director with you. And you not only refused to reveal that you were keeping a second set of books attempting to frame me while you intentionally committed sabotage, understanding that I understood there was a specific accounting procedure, but you were operating with a completely different one. And apparently I'm actually really fucking good at it, aren't I? Do you want to say, well, I mean, somebody else is in control. No, they're not. No, they're not. The problem is, I don't agree with this. Because that 12 could also have been something else. That 6 could also have been something else. Have you ever read anything that Benjamin Franklin wrote about early coinage? Did you ever read anything that fucking Thomas Jefferson wrote about early coinage? No, you did not. See, if you had, then this would actually mean something completely different. Do you have any idea how fucking rich we actually are? An American? Now, there were constitutional challenges that were issued concerning the original Bank of the United States and its charter. Thomas Jefferson invoked the, tenth, uh, the 12th Amendment, the 12th Amendment of the United States of America. He said the original charter for the Bank of the United States was unconstitutional because it violated the 12th Amendment. But when he actually cited the amendment, that amendment is now identified as the 10th Amendment. 
you've read anything Thomas Jefferson wrote about Spanish coinage, it might call some questions up about who thought their priorities were where at the time and what lineage you think you're actually in. Because you're an American too. So let's not pretend that this is about some sort of exotic, foreign foray and that it's okay to say that it's put off onto all these foreigners and their entire national economy is supposed to suffer because we've already tried to cast them in a predeterminate characterization of what's acceptable. You spent 15 years trying to avail yourself of some concept of reparations because I, what, was supposed to be the slave owner? My case to the Constitution is about violations of the 13th Amendment for a reason. Did you decide to swap out your 12 with my 10 and now you want me to pay for it? Because I would. And I have. Every day for the last year on the record. It's recorded. It's verified. Right? But the thing is, it's not what you said it was. Now, maybe not everybody knows these things, but it's one of the reasons you don't tell somebody that comes in with a good faith effort, hey, I think you're being set up because now we're all the way down the road, right? And I can do both. And what it seems like is you banked on being able to do one using me. And so now instead of it being you and me, including in an adversarial relationship, it's me and me. And every day you take from me it's theft and all of the other crimes that come from that. And I already said, slavery is expensive. Very, 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 very expensive. And even at my rates, if I could pay, I wouldn't. So you're going to have to reconsider what you think the priorities are here. All of you including you that I'm talking to that took my identity and her identity and made all these composites for yourself and really thought that you were entitled to put yourself in the public office at any level in any country or that you were going to throw in and use and abuse the judicial system, including the rights to due process all kinds of other people had so that you can try to get better rates for your insurance. This is an insurance yet and we're not going to get to insurance until you qualify and you don't qualify yet even after 15 years 